Hey guys and welcome to a new video and today we're gonna do the same as we've done for the infantry guide uh, so the previous video which was a guide uh, to guide you for the which officer you can put on your infantry troops and today we are going to do the same but not for the infantry but we're going to do it for the artilleries by the way, let me know what you thought about the infantry guide uh, video in the comments so I can do more about it and improve the videos for you. <coughs> Alright guys, so as you know there is three different uh, artilleries in the game. So one from each camp. So first of all you have the Liberty artillery, you have the Martyr artillery and you have the Vanguard uh, artillery. Alright, so let's go to the units and let's check their features. Alright, so let's start with the Liberty uh, Howitzer, so artillery. So, for um, there is a counter, so you can count, uh, it's, um, you can counter other infantry with the uh, uh, Howitzer. But by the way, the artilleries are very, very good um, against uh, uh, tanks also. So yeah, this is the um, artilleries are the the strongest uh, in terms of firepower, are the strongest on the battlefield, uh, but also got uh, less uh, HP than the others uh, troops. All right, so let's talk about their features. So the features of all the artilleries is so siege howitzer deals huge damage to fortifications and blast damage um, howitzer can simultaneous, simultaneously deal damage to enemy units within the same map grid. Right. And the camp bonus. So this this one is for the liberty uh, camp. So siege announce announcement. Higher damage to fortifications than howitzer from other camps. So it means that, for example, um, if you have an infantry troop um, in a, bu a bunker mode, um, it will deal more damage to this bunker than others um, uh, artillery. And of course, uh, fortifications is also um, bases and bunkers and yeah. So, all right. Let's talk about the uh, Amate Howitzer. Alright, so the same, there is the same unit features, of course, because it's uh, artillery. So the camp bonus is uh, enhanced firepower, higher firepower than Howitzer from other camps. Okay, so that one, I guess, I don't need to explain. Okay, and the anti tank, uh, anti tank gun, sorry. Let's check it. Okay, so the, this unit feature is not the same as uh, the other artilleries. So the penetration, anti-tank uh, anti gun, penetrate armor and deal massive damage to their targets. So, which means that um, against, for example, a super heavy, it's very, very effective. So as you can see, it's, uh, count it counters um, super heavy tank and it's also countered by um, light tanks. By the way, all the Artilleries are counted, can be counted um, against uh, against uh, light tank. Light tank is very good against um, against the artilleries and uh, the rocket launcher. Okay, but it will be for another video. So yeah, let's talk about the officers now. All right, so um, yeah, let's check the officers. So first of all, we have a uh, champion of the people. For those who don't know, it's also the name of Antonina. Uh, so yeah, you can call it by different names. So, so let's start with the first skill. Uh, Tiger the enemy with a precision uh, bombardment, dealing damage to an enemy tree. Damage coefficient, 1200. If this officer is an artillery troop, this skill deals 25% extra damage. Okay. The second one is an offense skill, and so it's increased the damage of this officer troop by 25% when this officer is garrisoned in your base. So which means that if your base is under attack, 
and this officer is um, on the on any trip the damage of this officer trip it will be uh, increased by to 25 percent okay we're talking about the damage by the way not the fire power but the damage it does okay then increase the firepower of this officer artillery by 30 percent okay so that one is only for artillery so as you can see is rocket launcher um artilleries and and tank gun okay and the last one which is the uh um, pa a passive skill which is uh, increase the skill damage of all officer in this officer's trip by 25 percent that one is crazy yep and the last one the uh useful one is increase the firing range of this office, uh, officer artillery troop by one map grid the firing range of this officer troop can be increased by up to one map grid okay so um yeah so that one by the way is a very good unit to if you want to attack um uh artillery also so yeah um so for example that one can be on any trip by the way because if you play with uh you can play with any trip to be honest so let's just move on to the another officer and we'll see how it goes all right so let's just talk about all the officers now and then after we we'll like time try to, to put the them fun. on the different trips all right so next we have argent flame other flame uh, so his first skill is a tactical skill and the preparation time is 8 seconds fires an artillery shield at an enemy damage coefficient 1500 if this officer is an artillery troop this skill this skill also damage up to three enemy ground force troops within what map grid um, oh sorry within one grid of the target damage coefficient uh, 700 20% less for each additional troop. If serving as a troop captain, the skills also increase the damage skill of this aid by 25%. So, what does it mean? It means that, by the way, uh, you need to put this one as a captain if you want to have the bonus of if serving as troop captain, the skill also increases the skill damage of this aid by 25%. So for sure that one you need to put it as a captain, okay? Um, so it means that for example you're attacking the troop. Uh, let's just move our troops. All right. So let's say we have troops like this, and with this uh, anti-tag gun, I'm attacking those troops. Uh, one troop, this troop, for example, okay. This troop will also receive damage from my um, officer, okay? From the, this officer skill, okay? We're talking about the skill, right? We're not talking about the damage that the the artillery does, okay? We're talking about the officer skills, right? So if I'm attacking that one and the officer skills uh, is activated, it will also attack um, this troop with the skill, and that's it, all right? So next we have a protection uh, skill. Uh, increase the damage resist of this officer troop by 20%. Okay. Next we have uh, offense skill. Increase the damage of this officer troop by 35% when this officer is garrisoned in a base. Okay. So it's the same as Antonina for the first one. But it's not 25%, but it's 35%. Okay. So that one Without is a hatred, very good officer I for garrison, uh, for base garrison. I mean for base defense. Okay, and the next we have increased the favor of this officer artillery by 40%. And of course we are talking about only the uh, artillery. And the awakened skill is a skill boost. So, uh, yeah, it's just the same, but you just like uh, boost it. That's it. Okay, next, what do we have? We have okay. That one is not um, it's the end of the road uh, artillery for you. Uh, officer, but it can be used as an artillery officer. 
So it's war machine. I'll tell you why it's a war machine. So Pilsed, so the first skill is tactical skill. So Pilsed, perversion time, sorry, eight seconds. Pilsed the enemy with continuous machine gun fire, dealing damage to an enemy, coefficient uh, 1300, and reducing the lower time of this officer troop by 10% for eight seconds. Okay. Next, what do we have? Increase the damage of this officer troop by 15%. Okay. Next one, increase the firepower of this officer troop by 20%. The special skill is reduce the load time of this officer troop by 10%. Okay. And the awakened skill is a skill busted. Right. So why it can be good for an artillery? Look at just the special skill. Increase the load time of this officer trip by 10%. Okay. So if you compare the firing um, power, so let's say 10 down and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna put like this. Alright. So that one's got. Okay, we just take. I just used uh, to. So that one is the one with the officer, and that one is the one with no officer. Okay, let's just put a friend up officer on that one. Cool. Alright. So. We'll just take a look at the reload. Okay. So for that one, we'll see the load time. Okay. And sorry for that one. Okay, I was out of On the, sorry, on the battlefield we cannot really see because it's very like, uh, it's, it's, it's as you've seen here, uh, it reduced the load time of this officer troop by 10% but um, it's increased by the time, look here, and reducing the load time of this officer troop by 10% for 8 seconds, so it means like for 8 seconds the troop will be the load time, re um, but the load time uh, of the officer troop is reduced uh, by 10% for 8 seconds, okay? So it means you'll all the time uh, be reduced because look at it. Preparation time eight seconds, and reducing the load time of this officer troop by ten percent for eight seconds. So it means like by the time the skill is uh, redoing the like is in preparation, the skill of this officer will still be um, up, uh, on. Okay, so I don't really know how to explain it, but yeah. I don't know if you get what I'm like by this. This is like it's an infinite, uh, it's an infinite tactical skill to me. Because preparation time eight seconds, and the the you can use the skill for eight seconds. So the same preparation, the same amount of time that the preparation time. Alright, okay. so let's move on to another uh, to another officer. So for the next officer we have Maestro. Okay, Maestro. I'm painting. For the first Could skill, you not interrupt? The preparation time is eight seconds. Deal skill damage to an enemy. Damage coefficient fifteen hundred. If the target is stained, all stained troops within one map grid of them are set on fire. Enemies on fire take damage. Damage coefficient two hundred every second for four seconds. Next, this officer trip deals 7.5% extra normal attack damage and 40% extra penetration damage. A. Each attack of this officer artillery trip stains the officer trips or uh, the enemy trip, sorry, reducing the damage resist by 15% for 8 seconds. If the target is already stained, another enemy trip within one map grid will be stained instead. This skill can be triggered once every two seconds. Okay. 
And uh, the last one is increase the damage of this opposite troop by 10% and its damage by 10%. You told me this would be a and the, the awakened is the skill after is the a skill war gonna be so exciting. Okay, next, what do we have? We have um, Eye of Providence. Locked on and ready to strike. Okay. Eye of Providence. So, uh, the first skill is um, deals damage to an enemy, damage coefficient 1500. If this officer is an artillery troop, the skills does 25% extra damage. Okay. Passive skill when is uh, when in artillery troop reduce kill prep time by 12.5% for all officer in the troop. Okay. And increase the damage deal by this officer troop by 32% when attacking fortifications. And the last one. Increase the firepower of this officer artillery by 40%. Increase firepower by an extra 10% when outside fighting, and um, when uh, uh, fighting outside of your alliance active territory. Okay, so which means that you have 40% inside of your uh, village. Okay, and um, if you're outside of your village, if you're not in your village, I mean, I mean if it's a neutral. Um, neutral or an enemy village um, <coughs> the firepower of this officer artillery will be 40, uh, 50% sorry and the uh, new skill for the awakened skill when is uh, when in an artillery trip increased skill damage deal to base by 40% for all officers in the trip okay so as you can see that one is a base killer right then what do we have we have percy all right on your orders, percy Commander. um is not an, an artillery uh, officer but it can be used as a artillery uh, artillery officer i'll tell you why in a moment so first of all we have percy inspire uh, so preparation time a second Percy inspire her troops, uh, her troop, dealing damage to an enemy, damage coefficient 1200, and increasing the firepower of all of his, uh, all of all your troops within two maps grid um, by 8% for each. Okay, the the increase the damage of this officer troop by 25% when this officer is garrisoned in your base. Okay, next one, increase the HP of this officer troop by 20%. And the last one is increase the blast damage resist of this officer troop by 50%. And for the awakened skill is a skill boosted. Right. So why did I say that Percy can be good to uh, to put on the artillery troop? It's because of the scene skill which is increase the damage of this officer troop by 25% when this officer is garrisoned in your base. So means if you're under attack, um, yeah, it can also be very good to put um, on a trip on a on the officer. So for the poor, I'm using um, Antonina uh, for my victory is my only goal. So for and the skill training, do whatever I put, it takes. Um, Percy. So it, uh, for the um, for in case I'm under attack, the skill will be boosted. I mean, like the the buff for my garrison damage will be buff. So as you can see, I have already the 25% uh, damage, uh, uh, extra damage uh, for the officer when he's garrison in my bay, and I have another one, which is the Percy one. So it's a uh, double, uh, double skill. Okay, next, what do we have? We have Saber of the Nation. I won't, I won't. I think I won't have talk about. Um, I won't talk about it. Man. It will be maybe for another video, but I want to to have a. I want to talk uh, mostly to the free-to-play players. So for the one who cannot afford to afford to put money in the game, and who cannot afford to, uh, there must be some to use, uh, yeah, to use so the uh, play uh, the uh, pay-to-win. Uh, Pieces. So from the boat saber of the nation. Okay, next what do we have? We have Stinger Fist. Okay. Winning can so, be easy if you know where to land your punch. The first skill is 
deals damage to an enemy, damage coefficient 1800. This skill does 25% extra damage when this officer trip is it is garrison. Okay. Uh, by the way, I, why it's not 1000% is because for the others I compared because they were already awakened. But that one is not awakened for me. Follow so me into I'm the breach. Saying, uh, oh, okay. That's why I'm saying uh, 1800 because the, um, as negotiate. you can see, the last time um, when it's uh, level 5, bullet. it's 1800. Okay, the next second one is increase uh, the damage of this officer artillery trip by 20%. Okay, pretty good. Single one is when this officer trip is garrisoned in your base, increase the damage by 25% and the damage resist on, of your base by 25%. That one is just very easy. That one is crazy, um, a crazy buff to be honest. Because, look, 20, you have the same as Antonina, and you have the same as Percy. Right? Follow so, me into the increase breach. the damage of this officer tree by 25% the when this officer is carried in your base. Okay? But with this, you don't have only this. Can be you easy. have also if you know and the damage you resist to your base. So it means like when you're under attack by five percent. So it means like you ha it's the same as you have, you have a buff for the if you have a, a base skin buff. I don't know. Okay, as you can see here, for the Ascension Spire uh, base skin, which is a pay to win of uh, pay to win. Uh, Skin, as you can see, you can only obtain it in the legendary showroom. Uh, yeah. And by the way, it it doesn't cost. Uh, the other one is like those when you pull that one. All the uh, base uh, skill, um, the base skin skill, when you pull troop and base damage resist plus five percent. It's only. Um, uh, very, it's very expensive to be honest. Yeah. Okay, you can only obtain it with the gold, the gold uh, coins from the legendary showroom. Okay. So let's go back. So it's the same as if you have uh, a base skin, but with the free-to-play uh, officer. Winning so I really advise you to if you know to use this um, officer, and this is, I think, this is what I'm going to do. And then the last skill we have, whenever this officer troop attacks, it causes the target troop to enter suppressed statues, reducing the target shield generated by 10% for 8. I think they wanted to say 8 seconds, no? Yep, I think so. And can be triggered once every 8 seconds. Okay. And the last skill is a skill busted. Okay, so that officer is very good for garrison. Okay, what else do we have? We have Eruptor. So, Eruptor is a very old officer. Roar. That one is a generation 1 officer compared to the previous one. And that one is a generation negotiate. 2 officer. The only way I negotiate is with a bullet. So, for the first skill we Take have a, a tactical skill. So, the preparation time is 8 skins. Bombards an enemy with more tars, dealing damage to the enemy, damage coefficient um, one, uh, 1050. If this officer is in the artillery trip, the skill also increases the trip blast radius by 6% for uh, 8 seconds. So, as you already know, when uh, the skill, the skill um, time is the same as the preparation time. It means that whenever your skill is activated, your skill is all the time active. Okay. Uh, then, for the second skill, uh, we have an offense skill. Increase the damage deal by this officer ship by 25% when attacking fortifications. So it's going the same as Eye of Providence. Uh, not that one, sorry. Eye of Providence. I'm not in the mood to fight that today. one. But There's that one is uh, way better. But of course, that one is uh, generation three compared to the Eruptor, which is a generation uh, one officer. So that one is thirty-two percent uh, when attacking fortifications. 
and that one is 25% uh, when attacking fortification. So of course, Eye of Providence is way better for attacking bases. Uh, increase the firepower of this officer artillery by 30%. Okay, and the last one, increase the blast radius of this officer artillery by 6%. And the last, the awakened skill is a new skill, which is reduce the load time of this officer artillery by 10%. Okay, next one, what do we have? We have Spur Shirker Beer. Fire right. support, whatever the you need, to be. you got it. Uh, so, the tactical skill, uh, perversion time 8 seconds, artillery fire rains from the sky, dealing damage to an enemy, damage coefficient 1500, and increasing the blast damage uh, of this officer artillery by 25% for 8 seconds. Okay, next skill we have increased the HP of this officer artillery by 30%. Okay, next we have increased the firepower of this officer artillery by 10%. Oh, uh, sorry, by 30%. If this officer is in a rocket launcher, this will increase firepower by 10%. And the last skill is whenever this officer troop kills an enemy unit. It has 10% chance to shorten the progression time of this skill by 1%. This skill can be triggered one uh, one time every 8 seconds. Okay, and the last skill is a new skill. The attack of this officer uh, artillery troop have a 30% damage, 30% uh, chance to send the target on fire, dealing damage every second, damage coefficient 100 for 4 seconds. Okay. So that one is mostly for uh, rocket launcher because as you can see it shortens the time from pull for that one. Um, it has 10% chance to shorten the progression time of the skills by 1%. And just by looking at this skill, uh, increase the firepower of this officer artillery by uh, 30% and an extra 5% if it's in a rocket launcher. Okay, then what do we have? Um, what do we have? That one is not rich. War is a business, and it. I am a yeah, and that's me, I can protect the folks. Is all. The that one, like, don't need this one. Like. Fire support. All okay. I heard yeah, your pushing on. I can't be not a reckless support. and impulsive so battle plan. So you have also Lady Liberty. So Lady Liberty is uh, paid to win the officer, of course, and. Just by looking at the last one, is the same uh, as uh, Antonina. Increase the firing range of this officer artillery by one upgrade. Okay, but that one is just a no P uh, officer. Uh, I'll I'll tell you why in uh, another video. But because I want to um, to talk about only the free to play um, officer tournament. Then what do we have? We have Red Heat. He also a very good officer. Heard the stories, Just by have looking you? <laughs> that one, you'll see. Well, I won't read it, but I don't you can it. read it. Okay, and that one is for the tank. Okay. So, we've gone through, like um, yeah, um, through every officer. Uh, we've gone through every officer. So, for the first one, so this one is a uh, Liberty uh, Artillery. Liberty Artillery, what can we put? So by the way, if you have Antonina, I really, uh, so Antonina also named as Champion of the People. So if you have, uh, I think if I can uh, give a good advice to the to the beginners of the, the game, uh, if you're in a new server or if you just started to play the game, I advise you to take Antonina and to awaken it first, okay? So what do I mean by awaken it first is um, to have this skill because this one maybe uh, just by reading it it won't like uh, it won't like how to say um, you won't be very interested about it but you'll see on the battlefield it, it will give you a very like a very big advantage compared to the others. Okay, I'll show you why. So I'm a put Antonina on that one. And I'm gonna put a random uh, office on that one. Okay. Okay. So, 
that one's got does it have Antonina? And that one's got Antonina. Okay, look at it. From the pool, we're gonna go quite the same range. Okay. So let's say I want to attack this uh, this uh, let's say I want to attack this trip. Okay. Can I do it with this officer? I cannot. Look. I cannot. It doesn't reach. You see? It doesn't reach. Okay. But can I do it with this officer? Look. It's in the range. Don't you can see. Me. It's in the range. So it means I can't do it. So which means Watch what? Out. Means that find a ball. That one let's say that this one is an enemy. Okay? And that one is your trick. Okay? You is your artillery. Okay. I want to attack let's say with this artillery I want to attack uh he wants to attack me. He cannot. Look, he's not in the range. He's not in the range, you see? He's not in the range. He's not in the circle, okay? But look at it, with my officer, Do you, want the blues? you can. Look, you see? You can. So, which means that for you, you will be able to attack an enemy trip without being, uh, without the enemy being able to attack you. Okay, so that one is a very good advantage for you. Alright, so if you're playing with your, if let's say your main uh, uh, artillery is uh, Liberty uh, uh, Hauta, then I'll advise you to to put your uh, your champion of the people on this artillery. So let's say my favorite artillery is um, the Liberty artillery. So, as you know, the Liberty Artillery Siege Announcement higher damage to fortifications than uh, Howitzer from other camps. So, which means that when uh, this is what I've said uh, previously, that one is very good to attack uh, bases. So, what we will we do is, of course, to put a, um, an officer, which is very good to attack bases. Okay. So we have the choice between. Eric to uh, Eye of Providence and Eric Tor. Okay, of course, uh, Eric Tor is a generation one officer, and Eye of Providence is a higher generation uh, officer. So I'll go with uh, Eye of Providence because look at the skills here. Increase the damage deal by uh, this officer troop by 25% when attacking fortifications, and that one. Increase the damage deal by this officer troop by 32% when attacking fortifications. So, of course, I'm gonna go with that one. Okay, what else can I do? Um, I can go so with the champion of the people. Okay, so it's also very good to defend. All right. So because so that one will be uh my main artillery. Okay. That's the one I'm going to use to attack bases and also to target enemy troops. Okay, that's the one I'm uh, I'm gonna play the most. Okay, what do we have here? We have a martyr um, howitzer. So, martyr howitzer is very poly. Um, I'd say, um, it can be used for any anything to be honest, and this is why I have it also in my uh, setup. It's, it deals a lot of damage to to troops and also can be used as um, a troop to attack uh, bases. Of course, it will be less efficient than the than the, um, the Liberty Howitzer. But if you put uh, Eye of Providence on it, it can be comparable, all right? So what can we put on it? So for me, I will go with, um, let's just check. So we have Maestro, Added Flame, but, could be a, but as I've said, that one is mostly to be used on the um, on a rocket launcher. We have also Miss Percy, we have also War Machine, and we have also uh, Worst Guys. Okay, Tinker Fist, and ooh, we have so Erito, but Erito is won't be very useful. So what can we put? So for me, I will go with maybe Stinger Pist. Okay. Because it deals uh, increase the damage uh, 
of this officer by 20% and look at that one um, that one is also good for garrison okay so that one also increase your um, um, damage resist of your base by 5% and here whenever this troop attacks because the target troop to enter suppressed statues reducing the target shield by 10% for 8 seconds yes can be triggered once every 8 seconds so it can be used um, also uh, in defense but also can be used in attack okay to attack troops okay so I'm gonna go with uh, Stinger Fist and maybe uh, can be also good with War Machine okay so um, by the way it will be only my opinion so feel free to change your your troops I mean your officer's troops okay. so for me I will go with with, with um, I think this one, I think the other theme, I might put it on the... I prefer to get close and oh, yeah. the target. my thing work one. Dangerous, but effective. Mm, because, as you know, the... The... Let's see. I'm the thing was, um... Trip. Is also, uh, very good to attack, um... Thing. Okay. By the way, I think I might do a video about talking about my my future setup. So, look at it. Look at the difference. I can do anti-aircraft mode. So it means that if there is a plane above me, I can target it with my. I can attack it with my uh, with this trip. Okay. But the only inconvenience you cannot is uh, you cannot do is. You cannot move your troop, your anti-tank gun, while it's in um, AA mode, okay? So anti-aircraft, okay? So just, just carrying everything. Move it, okay. So I think I'm gonna just put it as the captain, of course, because as you know, the first one is if serving as a troop captain, the skills also increase the skill damage of this head by 25%. So of course I'm gonna put it as a captain. Then the next one is so anti tank gun, by the way, it's mostly um, used for base defense. Okay, so what can I put on it to have a good base defense? I can maybe use Maestro. By the way, uh, if you're, it's only under the, if you're using the troop only okay. for garrison um, or if base defense, impossible. you don't really need Antony and Antipinus. So I advise you to like just take another uh, officer. So maybe it can be good with Maestro, okay? But it can also be good with the uh, War Machine because it reduces the load time by ten percent for eight seconds. So uh, maybe I might put, uh, or let's say maybe what I'm going to do is to put Agent Flame as the captain, of course. And think of fist as the single one. Okay. And for the last one, maybe I'm gonna put yeah, maestro. Okay. Because it uh, gives extra uh, penetration damage. It can be good, but um, or maybe because anti tank gun already got um, a very good penetration. Nah. I'm gonna do this, yeah. I'm gonna add more penetration to my anti tank gun. And I'm gonna put War Machine. Okay, so for that one, War, mach uh, War Machine can be. can You can open it for free just by going to your Alliance store. And here you have War Machine statues. You can just use it, okay? Just buy from here. Okay? You can just buy from here every week you just buy those two this one and this one okay and so you can awaken it so every week you will have 20 um uh, of these uh, stages okay so i advise you to take it from it if you don't have it uh, awakened yet don't push me. and on, for guys. miss percy you can get it from the uh beginning uh when you begin the game uh you have um Officer, I mean, like you have uh, missions to accomplish, 
and you can get the uh, Miss Percy uh, stitches from there so yeah so why Miss Percy on this? because 25% uh, um, garrison damage and this one also because uh, there is uh, the low time reduction so if you want to be fully uh, equipped for base defense I advise you to put Miss Percy but if you want to also use it as a um, as a trip to a target to to target the enemy troops, you can also put war machine. So that's the um, that's the setup for the artillery. All right, guys. Mm, so that's it for the video. Just let me know if you want more of it, of course, in the comments. And yeah, I think that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching the videos and have a great day. Bye.